All right, so welcome back to another episode of Resident Evil 2 Remake. I just got done trying to fight William Birkin again. I was like recording for quite some time, trying to fight this guy again, and I just decided to cut the recording and just restart from scratch because there's no sense in trying to edit all that. But this dude is freaking, he is a bullet sponge. <clears throat> but I've got a new strategy I want to try. Because I've kind of mastered his attacks. Like, I know his pattern now, so he doesn't hit me a lot. In fact, I've, for the most part, I've had to let him kill me. For the most part, because I wouldn't have any ammo. So as far as him actually damaging me, that's not the issue. The main issue has basically just been trying to kill him with enough ammo to do so. But I think I have a new strategy that will work. Hopefully, maybe. Because what you have to do, you have to shoot him. The thing you have to do is you have to shoot him in the eyes. So his chest, you have to shoot him in his chest with all those eyes. You shoot him anywhere else and it's just going to waste ammo. So I have to do that, and I've done that, but I just doesn't, doesn't last me and I run out of ammo. But like I said, I'm fairly good at not getting hit. Because I had a whole first aid spray the last time I was doing this, but ran out of ammo so I had to let him kill me. But I didn't carry the flash grenade last time I did this. Oh, that is not... That is not what I wanted. God. If anything, I wanted to keep the grenade. Well, I'm not... I'm not sure how bad that's going to hurt me now. Okay, so let's grab this. And I've watched a couple of Let's Plays on this myself just to see a couple of things on how other people have handled it. I'm curious, can I not combine? Or, darn it, I was hoping I could use that. Maybe get some benefit out of it. But I've watched other people do their recordings of it and kind of see what their strategies are. So I'm going to kind of make a combination of a couple things and see if I can hopefully get past this. Okay, so I think the acid round and all that can go away because it's only two shots at the end of the day. I don't think that's going to do me any good. A knife is actually going to do better because I was... I used all my ammo, I used all the minigun ammo. All I had left was a knife, so I decided to go for it and knife him he actually went on the ground and was starting to do that thing where he like bleeds to death because that's what he does when he is about to die. He bleeds a lot and then he'll die. But the problem was is I had like 15 seconds left and so he was not dying and he just so happened to hit me so I ended up getting killed anyways. So the, it was a big mistake there. But anyways, the knife seems to be a little more useful for me. So I'll probably just use that. But I still need to get rid of one more thing. And this sucks, but I think I might... Oh, crap. I really wish I had more storage. That's... Darn it, dude. This is not... None of this is easy. If only I found that button, I could easily carry two more things. We, we did pretty bad with storage in this episode. Or not this episode, but this Claire's playthrough. Like, Leon's, I think we missed like one fanny pack, and that was about it. But this one, we missed two. I don't know how I did that, but apparently I missed two. 
So I think, um... I'm trying to debate if this handgun's more valuable or if the knife is more valuable. I want to go knife because I've done handgun enough already and it hasn't done me any good. So we'll do the knife this time. Because at least when I was knifing him, it legit... He was bleeding. I just didn't have a lot of time to do it. Now I've seen Lutz players that were doing this, um, actually let me go grab that battery. I've seen Lutz players that were doing this and they've done it in like a minute and 30 seconds. With nothing but the minigun. And a couple flash grenades. And that was it. I think they grenade him. Because you can actually grenade him, which is why I was a little disappointed that that Plant 43 took my grenade. Because I wanted to use that as part of my strategy, but... Guess that's out the window now. Oh wait, what am I doing? See, I really wish I could go back up to the item box real quick. Like, I wish they had the item box in here so I could grab what I want now instead of... Oh yeah, it's over there. Too bad I can't do anything with it. But let's go try this new strategy I saw. Yeah, we already saw this. Is this equipped? Why can't you just die? Where'd he go? Oh, he's chilling on the other side. See, I don't. I wish I knew exactly how many times he should do that. God, I got. I wasn't thinking about the direction I was going. Face me. That's a good spot to like start shooting. Alright, so this next one he's gonna climb up here and then he's gonna jump down, but he's not gonna jump on the train, he's gonna jump at me. So like I said, I've I've done this enough times where I know his pattern, so taking damage isn't that big of a deal unless I get in a hurry and I like stay in one spot too long and I try to like rush it. Other than that, he himself isn't the concern. Yeah, I feel like I'm in the same boat I was in last time. Okay. See, he should flare his chest out for a minute. Come on, man. Let's do this. Let's do this. Now, this time he'll jump on the train again. Good. Get a free shot. Wait, we get him? Is he going to bleed? God, he got crap. Wait, are we in danger? Okay, we're in caution. I don't know if I've ever knocked him down like that before. That was interesting. I don't think I've done that before. So we might be getting somewhere this time. Because I've never used a... I only used a grenade on him the first time and that was when I actually got him to bleed.
Face this way, dude. Okay, we still got first aid. Keep climbing the wall again? I didn't even see him climbing. God. That put me in danger, that one hit? Come on, dude, that's not... Okay, now he's bleeding. Based on what I've read, we just have to avoid him. For the most part. I'm still gonna shoot him, because, you know... Screw it. Let him die. Awesome. See, that's what he was doing last time. When I about beat him. But I had like 15 seconds, not 2 minutes. Holy cow. Crap. Dog. Sheep. G-Virus. Whatever you want to call it. Good lord, dude. Darn, okay. That was annoying. We're at 12 minutes so far. Clear. It's okay. I'm here. We're getting out of here. I hope I get to save before I fight him in the train. Because if I die in the train and I get stuck having to fight this dude like that again because he kills me in the train. I'm gonna be mad because I'm on danger right now. Oh. But yeah, this is it, y'all. This is the last episode, everyone. And then we'll be moving on. I've enjoyed this game a lot. It's had its frustrations. But this has been an amazing game. We actually get to see the complete ending and not just Leon saying, hey. So what's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Good. Cause I need to take a shower. Yeah. <laughs> really? That bad. Oh yeah. Claire! Leon! So good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Who's this? This? This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. What was that? I don't know. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. Oh, I swear. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. That that's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. We are we are good now. Everything is okay. I'm fine. I don't care about anything. I just know I don't have to do that fight anymore. What other things did they offer us up here? Got gunpowder. Do I have any more gunpowder? Because I don't think I have any in my container back here. That's a weird thing this game does. This game does that a lot. Like, it will give you one half of something that you need and just expect that you'll have the other thing. Like in Birkin's third form fight that you fight him when Annette comes over there and, like, shoots him with that acid launcher round, whatever it was. They give you a red herb in that lab area. And there's no green herb or anything. They just assume that you have a green herb on you. I mean, there's not one even on the floor when you fight Birkin. And now in here, 
They're going to give me one thing of gunpowder and just assume I haven't used all my gunpowder. So I can't even use that. But I will take this, and I will take that, and hopefully we can finish this thing off with what I have. It's not a lot, but hopefully it will work. Because they didn't give me no other gunpowder. Heck, they didn't even give me health. Well, that sucks. I hope it doesn't take a lot to kill this guy. A knife? Seriously? Okay, there we go. See, spoke too soon. Man, do they seriously not give you any life? Hang on, am I not making sure I'm not missing anything else? Darn, it's saying it's blue. Well, I guess the good news is, is I have unlimited tries. The bad news... I have no health. Okay, you're coming in on that side. Do I just shoot him? Yeah, not really. Oh god, I just... Come on, load, load, load! Oh god. All these guns take an hour to load! Oh god, we're not gonna make it this time. Yeah, I missed up the first shot, but I, I, I see why they don't give you health. Well, if anything, that's the coolest death animation I've seen so far. That one was actually kind of cool. I like that one. All the other ones are like, eh, it's neat, but that one was actually cool. Seeing Claire actually get eaten whole, that was pretty cool. But yeah, I see why they don't give you health. It's basically just shoot him until he dies. So I want to save that acid round that I just got. I'll save that until he shows his actual face. Or not his face, but his, when he shows his eye. See, that's why I saved. That is why I saved. Because I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so let me grab... The grenade and the acid round. So I think that's everything we need because that ain't no good. Oh wait, I still got that with ammo. Okay, cool. So I have everything I need now. Go ahead and combine this. There you go. We'll use this one first. Make sure that six shooter, that's the only thing I hate. Claire's gun sucks with ammo. Alright, there's the smash. Now let's go back. Go ahead and get my distance and then start shooting immediately. He doesn't melt this time.
I actually like that a lot better. We don't just get off the train immediately after we're on it. We're actually still on the train. That's nice. So, are you guys, like, boyfriend and girlfriend? No. We're just... Uh, well, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look! He might be able to give us a ride. What if it's not just the city? Get Cherry out of here. Come on. Is it over? I don't know. But if it's not, we'll stop it. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you're damn right we will. As long as we stick together, we'll be fine. Come on. Stick together. Hey, you guys can adopt me. <laughs> adopt uh. you? <laughs> we can get a puppy. A uh, puppy? And a parrot. Parrot. I always wanted pets. Huh? Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. All right, holy crap, that took forever. Ugh. Killing that William Birkin like a million times in Claire's campaign got kind of old after a while. I really wish that they took some of the boss fights that Leon did and changed them up in Claire's because fighting William Birkin um, the first time in that smoky area both times and fighting him again in the lab area with Annette helping you that's just unnecessary you shouldn't have to do that those are two boss fights with William Birkin that they could have taken out and given us something else I'm also not a huge fan of the way Brian Irons, the chief of police, was killed. Like in the original, it's so much better. His whole character is just so much better in the original. Because he has like this, you know, he's a good cop type of thing at first. Like you think, oh, he's the chief of police. He must be a good guy. But upon reading his secretary's journals, his journals, all these other things, you figure out who Brian Irons really is. And you figure out he's like crazy and then you go down to his um, taxidermy chamber area and he like aims a gun at you and you find out the truth that he was working with Umbrella and all this stuff but then you hear the growling or the roar of Birkin he just like gets pulled under into that little even lower basement area headed towards the lab and then his body just comes shooting out you know half decapitated well, not decapitated, but half his body's missing. His legs are gone. That's one scenario. Another one is where he's like, is infected already, and then his chest pops like a um, bend. That's awesome. This one, he literally just, you know, he's chasing Cherry, and then all of a sudden Birkin kills him. Like, that is way lackluster compared to the original. And Ben also. Ben's character. I love how they gave Marvin character development and then decided to throw away Ben's character. Like, what the heck? Ben, he was never like a deep character, but he had a lot more to him than that. In the original, you like meet him, talk to him, tell you about that sewer that leads to the, you know, way out. Like, he tells you all those things and how he wants to be in the jail cell. Now, all of a sudden, he's locked up in the jail cell and wants out. And he's immediately killed upon meeting him. Like, there's no... There's no uh, development with his character at all. He's just destroyed right then and there. So I, I wasn't a big fan of how they executed Brian's or uh, Ben. Kind of wish they kept those guys more like they were originally. I, I really do wish that we met Brian Irons in his office the way that you originally did. Blowing up the helicopter and going into his office. And you don't even have to blow up the helicopter. I mean, if you want to save that for Mr. X 
to introduce himself and lift the helicopter, that's fine. But at least let us meet Brian Irons in the office with, um, you know, his chair aimed at the opposite direction. And then he rolls his chair and aims his gun at you and then you talk to him. I would like that to have been how we met him, not kidnapping Cherry and going to an orphanage and then Burke and just killing him. But other than that, this game is awesome. It's a very good game. I love it. It had its frustrating moments, but that was mainly due to me playing it on hardcore mode for the very, very first run. I'm sure if I had played it on normal mode for the first time, it wouldn't have been as frustrating. And then hardcore mode would have been a little easier because then I would have had a little more knowledge as to how things were going to go. But I enjoyed doing hardcore mode because that was just a funner like challenge to it. But this game was definitely uh, everything I was expecting it to be and more. Um, I'm going to play the DLC off screen. I don't think I'll record that. I'll just get ready to do whatever my next Let's Play is. Of course, I already, I already know exactly what the next one's going to be. I've already had that planned for the last couple of playthroughs. I already knew what that was going to be. Um, can't even think of which episode it was. Like, whichever episode it was, I was in the sewer. That was pretty much when I knew which episode or which uh, playthrough I was going to do next. Because I was honestly ready to end this episode or in this whole series after that um, sewer part with the chest pieces, putting them in the fuse slots to unlock the door to save Sherry. Once I spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out that puzzle, I was just like, nah, we're, we're done. And then you have to fight Birkin again and he just destroys you. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to finish. But it was still a really good game. I like Leon's campaign, Claire's campaign. There are things that I wasn't a big fan of. Like, for example, I wish Leon and Claire's campaigns were a little more unique and not so much the same. Because, I don't know, it, just, it felt too much alike. I don't like that you get the G virus and the antidote in the exact same place and you have those same boss fights. It just doesn't seem like the same thing. I mean, they could have gave it where Leon fights first form. <clears throat> they could have had it where Leon fights the first form, Birkin, but then have Claire fight the third form, Birkin, in the lab when she gets the antidote. Or vice versa. You could have done it either way. But don't have it where we fight them both in both campaigns. Have it separated. But... Those are just the small things. Everything else was great though because the zombies are awesome. I like how they are so tough in this game compared to how they originally are. So the, the zombies are great in this one and I like the... I'm not really sure what the original sound or what the soundtrack of this game is because I played with the uh, DLC original soundtrack the whole time. So I don't even know. Although I've read that it's not that great. It's really, it's kind of mostly sounds there's not really music to it which is part of the reason that I went with uh, the original but the original soundtrack was still great mr. X was cool although I do wish you could have knocked him out like you could in the original and get you know special ammo but other than that mr. X was good um what else was there that was good you know the items the inventory and the puzzles were all really good as well. What we got? Let's see. Okay, that's not... I don't think that was as bad as Leon. We did this a lot faster than we did with Leon. That That's at least something. I think Leon, it took me like 13 hours or something. Like, it was bad. It was really bad. Hardcore college student. Broken umbrella. Alright, so it took 19 saves, although some of those saves were basically, I had been recording for a while and I was ready to stop recording, so I was going to save. Like, if I was doing this on my own and just playing myself, I could have done that with a lot less saves, but because I was recording it and wanted to do this in increments and didn't want to just sit here and continuously record, I just went ahead and saved every so often and would end it there. But, very good game. Not sure, I'd probably give it like a 8 or 9 out of 10. It's that good. And I really, I can't wait to, for a possible Resident Evil 3 remake. Like, that's going to be really fun. 
I just hope that with Nemesis, they don't do like they did with Mr. X, where you can't kill Nemesis, or not kill him, but knock him out. I hope we can knock out Nemesis, because that was the whole point to Resident Evil 3, was that you fight Nemesis, you have the ability to fight or run. It's one of those flight or uh, fight situations, because it, it gives you those two options. When Nemesis first shows up, for example, it asks you, go into the police station or fight Nemesis. And if you fight them, you get a reward. You get, you know, ammo or whatever. And Brad, you can go and you can expect Brad and he has like a key for costumes in one of the save room areas. So I hope they don't make Nemesis invincible. Because if they do, that means they're going to get rid of the option to fight or flight. And I don't want that to go away. That was a very fun part of Resident Evil 3 so hopefully if they do remake Resident Evil 3 and I'm almost 100% positive that they will remake Resident Evil 3. I even think there's been a couple of rumors out that are already saying that yeah it's going to happen so when that comes along I'm going to look really forward to that because Jill Valentine gosh I'm so ready for her to have a new game just in general I mean Resident Evil 8 that'd be great if we get Jill and Billy, maybe? Like, give us some of these characters, please. But I want to go ahead and end this episode of Resident Evil 2 Remake. It's been a fun series. I will see you all for the next series. And until next time, see you then. Thanks for watching.